Hey friends, welcome back. So does your diet matter during this crazy, unpredictable, kind of surreal time? Uh, in this video, what I wanna help you better understand is how the dietary choices that you make will have an impact, whether or not you get exposed to this virus that is claiming the lives of tens of thousands throughout the world. So I wanna welcome you back. I'm Mike Mutzel, as always, super excited, super grateful that you're here. Uh, throughout this whole pandemic, what we're doing is covering this topic just to share with you some insights about how the immune system works, how your diet, dietary choices, and lifestyle choices affect your body's immune response. And we've been doing a lot of live streams and just trying to help you figure things out. And so in this video, what I wanna help you do is just elaborate in a more succinct format on some of the hot topics that we've talked about uh, up to now. And we're gonna really kind of focus in this video on diet, particularly sugar and how sugar and blood sugar imbalances and blood sugar dysregulation affect the immune system. So let me just get right to the punchline and get to the chase, okay? It's been known for a very long time. Individuals that have hyperglycemia, type two diabetes, pre-diabetes, type one diabetes, any sort of imbalances in their blood sugar ph physiology, they have a much uh, a more predisposition and propensity towards various immunological disorders. Uh, not only just susceptibility to H1N1, various upper respiratory tract disorders of infectious nature, as well as there's different diseases that actually only affect diabetics. I can list some of these here, I'm not an expert in this area, but there's ample research. Even in individuals that are infected with, say, hepatitis, hepatitis B and hepatitis C, their disease severity is much more. So what I'm trying to get you to just understand here is there is, without question, a connection between blood sugar imbalances and disorders of the immune system. Now, because the SARS-CoV-2 virus is relatively new, we don't have a lot of data, but we do have data that I'll share with you on the screen right here from Italy. And if you, uh, we've, ta we've talked about up to now the different disease comorbidities, which include but are not limited to hypertension, cerebro and uh, coronary and cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes uh, and obstructive pulmonary disorder are strongly linked with severe disease severity when it comes to COVID-19. So again, blood sugar imbalances linked to more disease severity, more ICU time. Now you might say, well, Mike, look, my uncle, my father, my in-law, uh, maybe someone in my immediate family, they've been eating crappy their entire life. Like, why are you telling me this right now? This is only gonna scare people. And I'm telling you this to not scare you right now. You have a lot of tools at your disposal. Most of you still have to eat during this time. Most of you uh, have the ability to go outside and take a walk, to do some push-ups, to do some air squats in your home. And let me just tell you, a few days of a low-carb diet, a few days of feeding window compression, maybe a 24-hour fast, a short-term fast, can do wonders for your body's immune system and affect your blood sugar regulation. So I do wanna mention, you know, fasting does not cure coronavirus. I wanna be very clear and just say that we know that if you have elevated blood sugar issues, we know that a short-term fast, we know that exercise, we know that eating low carb can quickly turn around those blood sugar issues in a very short period of time. So I just want you to understand that you, you, you have a lot of ability to influence how your body will respond. And it goes without saying, especially the data coming from Italy, shows that individuals with diabetes have much more severe disease outcome. Okay, so just to reinforce, I'm saying this because I've seen screenshots of people in nursing stations, right? I have friends who are in the, in the doctor's offices. People are still eating donuts, cake, drinking soda pop. There was a, a viral story about some couple, they wanted to buy 22 cases of Mountain Dew and they were told they couldn't buy it and they had a tissy fit, right? So people are making irrational decisions, having sugar, eating you know junk food because they're scared. And these are, these are foods that have a lot of emotional uh, and psychological addictive properties to them. Right, we know that sugar stimulates various dopaminergic centers within the brain. So I just want you to remember that you need to make wise dietary choices during this time, the best that you can. Um, exercise is very important. Compressing your feeding window, all these things can affect your body's immune response and also your body's metabolism. So food for thought, what I'm going to do here is just link some of the most salient and kind of noteworthy studies that, that I've been reading and researching to help you understand the connection between hyperglycemia and immune dysfunction so that you understand, so that hopefully you can, I think the silver lining of all this is we can help convince the people that didn't really believe that dietary change was that important. They thought, look, I take a medicine from my doctor why do I need to you know, follow up on this low carb diet? Why do I need to exercise? My doctor said my blood sugar is in control. Well, we know that's not the case. And uh, we wanna help people right now. And also keep in mind, 
I hope this, I hope I'm wrong about this, but the SARS-CoV-2 virus is probably not gonna be the last infectious disease we're gonna have to deal with in our lifetime. So the, the onus is on us as people to make the proper dietary choices, to influence those around us and convince other people to use this as a catalyst for lifestyle and diet change. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed this little short video. And again, kind of the, the, the take home message is your diet matters right now. It matters in the future. It matters for your disease severity, not only just for this imminent situation, but for many other diseases down the road. So grateful that you're tuning in. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Links that we talked about to scientific articles will be found below. We'll catch you on a future episode down the road. Bye guys.